Okay, um, hi everyone, my name is Stefan Heber. Welcome to my presentation. I'm here to present this work, Neural AP Volume Networks for Shape from Light Field, and this is joint work with Mariji and Thomas Bock. So first of all, I will give you a short introduction to this light field data. So to the left, you see here a 3D scene, and to the right, you see different types of visualizations of this 4D data. These are all 2D slices of the light field. In the center, you see so-called sub-aperture images, and to the bottom and to the right, you see so-called apipolar images. We're specifically interested in these apipolar images because of the line structures within those images. We can reconstruct the geometry of the scene. And what we want to do, we want to um, predict uh, based on a given light field, the corresponding depth field, which you see here in the center of the slide in this um, red, blue color code. And we do this by analyzing so-called apipolar image volumes, which are 3D slices of the light field, which you see here to the right. Um, why do we use um, deep, um, we want to use deep learning for this um, task? And the reason why we use deep learning is because traditional matching-based approaches struggle with artifacts like occlusion and uh, specular highlights, and the learning-based approaches can um, handle those. Um, here you see an overview of our network structure. We use a U-shaped network structure, which means we have an encoding part and a decoding part, marked in red and green here. And we also use uh, these skip connections, which allow to uh, maintain high frequency information. An important aspect of the network is that we use um, in every layer 3D convolutional, uh, we use only 3D convolutional layers, which allow to propagate information in the spatial, in the two spatial dimensions and also in one directional dimension. This allows to um, train an additional and spatial regularization. So here in this slide, you see some um, synthetic results. To the top left, you see the center view of the uh, light field with some close-up views. Then next to it, you see the ground truth followed by several um, competing methods. And to the bottom right, you see the output of the proposed method. Um, when you take a look at the uh, result of the proposed method, you can see that we can indeed learn this spatial regularization. And it is also able to um, provide this um, clear depth discontinuities. Um, here's another example where you can see that um, we can um, reconstruct a lot of details which other uh, methods um, can't. So um, also if you compare it to the second last method, you see the streaking artifact which you can um, remove. Um, here's a real world example from the Stanford Lightfield archive. To the left, you see again the center view, and to the very right, you see the uh, proposed method. For instance, if you take a look at the truck scene, you can see that we can reconstruct, for instance, the wire or the hook. And if you take a look, for instance, at the, um, at the bunny scene, then we can uh, reconstruct the, the areas of the ears more accurately. Um, to sum up, um, we present a novel end-to-end -end system for shape from light field, which basically analyzes apipolar image volumes and which can train a spatial regularization. The predicted disparity map, disparity map that clearly, um, can clearly outperform the state of the art and not just in a lower error rate, but also in a lower inference time. So if you're interested in this one, it's uh, poster five, and thanks for listening. <laughs>